In this video, I'll cover some of the basic terminology that you need to know when you're dealing with 360 degree footage. Most 360 degree cameras on the market these days include back to back fisheye lenses, like the camera I shot this on. That means that you'll be capturing half the field of view with each of one of the two lenses in the camera. Now, this is back to back fisheye footage and normally you wouldn't import this into Final Cut 10. If you did bring it into Final Cut 10, you can check the Info tab in the Inspector and see that the 360 degree projection mode is none, and it probably will be interpreted as none. You could set it to back to back fisheye, but currently that doesn't actually do anything. It's just a little flag that maybe a future version might pick up and do something with. Most of the time, what you'll need to do is process your footage with other software into this, which is an equirectangular clip. So exactly the same frame looks like that in back to back fisheye, or like that after it's been processed into equirectangular. The top and bottom of the image are quite distorted. It's like taking a globe and then converting it to a flat image. There's going to be distortion at the top and bottom. You'll also see that the picture actually gets a little bit redistributed. Final Cut needs all the footage you work with to be in this equirectangular mode. And the vast majority of the time, it should be interpreted as equirectangular over here in the inspector. If it's not, you can choose it from this menu here in the settings mode or in the basic mode. Note, however, that this is definitely monoscopic footage, which means 2D. 3D 360 degree footage lets you capture a stereo image. And while it might be more realistic, it's very much something that only high end cameras can handle. If you do have stereoscopic 360 degree footage, you can choose which mode it's in if it's not automatically detected correctly. In this course, though, we'll be dealing with monoscopic footage because it's by far the most common form of footage that's out there at the moment. Before digging too deep into exactly what Final Cut can do, in the next couple of videos, I'm going to give you some planning and shooting tips for your 360 degree projects.